Welcome back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rishi. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. So today I'm not sure where I'm going yet. It depends on how the day goes and what time allows. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure. Hopefully more things are out. I'm looking for fun sweaters and fun maybe maxi skirts with boots that's what I'm envisioning um, for this you know cool but warm period of fall so that's what I'm hoping to find and then I'll come back here and I'll do a um, haul and I'll show you what they look like so um, I'm just gonna go straight into gum thrift with me now and then we'll see where I ended up so I saw this knit set um, and it's a nice maxi or midi skirt so this would have been really nice it does have some damage um, on it but i do like the lacing and the buttons here they want ten dollars for it they said extra large um yeah otherwise it would have been really nice it feels like acrylic um but yeah i like the color still in sets this is by allison woods it's like a stripe with red stripe what I like is another suit with like this maxi. I think I just like the skirt though. Um, it has some like buttons right here. Uh, this is another one that's a little oversized, size 16. But yeah, I wouldn't buy it for $15 just for the skirt, so. This is a very interesting one. It has like embroidery on the collar and like on the hem right there and on one sleeve very interesting it's definitely the largest size it's by prestige extra large but yeah i just like the idea of the detail on the black this is also a fun one it has embroidery here i like the piping contrast piping here really really fun this is definitely not my size it's a 3x and it's by maggie barnes but i I love the colors of this and these appliques look so fun. Yeah. There are these two like tweed blazers from Sag Arbor. I really like the color of this one. I can just see this with jeans. Just, you know, instead of a sweater, I just throw this on with jeans. But I'm not sure. Oh no, there's some damage here as well. I said I'm not picking anything up red, <laughs> anything else red, but I love this um color here it's very tuxedo-esque type color this would definitely give you your um hourglass waist crossed over like this interesting this is by seville petites and it is a size 8p which would give me some room so maybe it's quite loud in here today um i went through the skirts not much circle skirt and the maxi skirts are prints that i'm not feeling um, so no luck in the skirts. I did see this one so art deco thing, but I don't think I'd wear it. Um, so yeah. I saw this Calvin Klein knit. They want $20. I would have gone for it if it was a longer thing, but this looks like it would be a mini and I'm trying to cover my legs <laughs> in the cold. So this is a selection, this blazer with the embroidery on it, the red blazer with the cinched in waist. I found this. I was looking for this color. I'm not sure if this is the one I tried the last time, but I like the color of this. It's really oversized. Um, Ralph Lauren green striped shirt. I'm trying not to get this one, but it's very tempting. Um, I saw this vest and I, I think it was here the last time, but I thought I would pair it with this. I like the two colors together. The question is, would I wear it? I'm not so sure. And then I found these pants. Can't go wrong with pants, but it looks a little tight. I would have wanted something with a little wider leg. And then I love this striped shirt from the men's section. It is by Norm Thompson, um, but I love the colors of this. Some bling from August Silk. The neck is a bit wide and that's the only thing that I'm not sure of, but I did love these beads on. Um, cute little sweater t-shirt. I think this is the only one I'm sure of. I love the color and the piping as well. 
Um, is it too early for Fair Isle? I'm not sure. This is also very wide necked and I really love a crew neck or a mock neck when it comes to this time of year. Um, Carolyn Taylor Vintage Knit in White. I think this is also a yes. I love picking these. I love seeing these, should I say, but they're not very forgiving. Um, you know, if you even eat a cracker. This is by The Limited. Um, what size is it? I can't see the size. It feels like it's a little bigger than a small, so there might be some room for food. Um, yeah, I just love the little sparkles in this, and I love like this mauvey purpley pink. And then I just picked up some basics for like throwing on the blazers. There's this very dodgy tie-dye one. <laughs> This pink one, I do have a pink blazer that I think, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it this season, but that's why I picked up pink. And then this white one, the neck looks a bit deep, but you can never go wrong with white. That's why I picked that up. But yeah, that's what I'm selecting from. back to the Salvation Army in Jersey City. It's the only one that's left. One got closed and one burnt down. So it's just that, um, I wouldn't say janky little store, but <laughs> it's just this little store. It tends to have a lot of basics, but um, I'm looking for everyday wear anyway, so it fit the bill. I spent just over $27. I had a, quite a few tags that were half off, I think. Um, which is great for Salvation Army, cheap and cheerful. They do, this is a place that sells Zara, very expensive. And I saw a Reformation dress in there and it was $193. So they're really pricing certain pieces up. But for the most part, I still was able to get some discounts off. And I have quite a few things. I'll start out with pants. When I was checking out or when I was ready to check out, there was someone there with a huge cart and... I didn't want to wait so I started walking around again and then I realized I have no bottoms so while she was checking out I ended up picking these up which is why you wouldn't have seen it in the come through with me the first one is this apostrophe vintage apostrophe this is what the label looks like but it's just this chocolate brown suede pants and I thought you know, why not a different type of suede, different type of leather pants. <laughs> um, I'm hoping it fits. I'm not sure. It says a size eight. So a vintage size eight usually does me pretty well, um, giving me a little room. I also love that it's gonna be high waisted. There's no loops for belts, unfortunately. So if it needs a taken in, then that's what I'd have to do. But yeah, I thought, you know, fall, chocolate brown, suede why not now in the spirit of fall and chocolate brown apparently i also picked up this corduroy um pants it had a slight boot cut which is why i was interested in seeing what it looks like on this is by j jill and it is a size 10 so i don't mind you know this has a belt loop so i don't mind it being a little roomier but i loved <laughs> the color of this it's like a cooler um chocolate brown so I thought why not let's try it so we got bottoms to try the stuff on today and so you'll see those while I'm um, showing you the tops so I'll start out with the one shirt that I got everything else are knit tops and I did get the um, Ralph Lauren shirt it has the tiny little logo right here I love a green striped shirt this is a little more oversized than the other ones that I have um, but it's just great to rotate, you know, so when I'm one when I when two are in the wash then you know I'll have another one It makes sense. So <laughs> That's how it works, but <laughs> 
that's the shirt right there and because it's like that deeper green stripe you know looking at it with my brown pants i know it's gonna be really good so yeah so here is the ralph lauren men's button down and i've paired it with the corduroy pants a little kick flare paired it with my western boots from acne i believe it's acne and then <laughs> just did a little half tuck for a full look i've added this chocolate brown blazer and this little gucci crossbody definitely need a crossbody when it starts you know when you start pairing several layers and so just to now that the look wasn't finished daytime very casual just the shirt with the pants and these um awesome western boots would be fine but because it's getting chillier, you know, from day to evening, it could be a completely different temperature. You know, having a blazer on hand is always a good idea at this time of year. To help it not look too workwear, I've just thrown on the crossbody. Even though this could be a perfect workwear outfit, I don't know, depending on where you work. <laughs> but I really love the tone on tone with the, um, with the browns. And then just adding a little more interest with the striped shirt. And this is fun little crossbody Gucci Ophidia. This is the vintage version. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like and love this. You know, when I get a full outfit that I'm like, I never change, I wouldn't change anything, then it goes straight to like wear this ASAP. <laughs> Next up, I got this sweet little t-shirt. You know, there's still cooler days or warmer days. Um, and it's by Banana Republic. Um, size medium so I really just liked the piping or the contrast on the pocket here and on the neck I thought this would be a really cute little top um, so yeah next up is this sweet little knitted t-shirt top I absolutely love this I love the fit on it I've kept on the cards with this and you know Still have all my Western boots, but just the fit of this, it feels so soft and nice as well. So absolutely loving this. I'm loving this color, especially with brown. And I'm feeling a lot of chocolate brown for fall. It's one of those minor trends um, or micro trends, as you call it, chocolate brown. Um, and I'm loving pairing it with a different color because it's not pink. It's more like this purpley pink type color. Instead of the boxy blazer i've put on this female crop um double breasted blazer i love well i wouldn't say crop but it's a nice boxy fit i do love a double breasted blazer because it's shorter it's showing more of the slight flare in the pants and just to add a little more you know contrast i have this vintage fendi baguette and um yeah i love the play of the browns with just this one pop of color. So I love this again. I would still keep on the Western boot. It kind of grounds it a little bit, making the look a little less expected. I love that, um, you know, tailored wear with this little <laughs> Western boot and some monogram print. I think I just love the combination of that with this, but you know, this top, I am gonna get a lot of wear out of it. I please do not get anything on your top no coffee no grease no curry please please Roche. <laughs> but of course for a t-shirt i would definitely be pairing it with jeans i have these um about a year ago i got them and uh, i am very precious with them because i don't want to ruin it <laughs> take them out for special occasions um i paired it with these um leopard print ballet chunky heel these are by sam eldman i don't think they're still available i've had these again for about three years so they're going strong waiting for their moment <laughs> little vintage belt and this little basket bag i don't know is it too late to wear basket bags because if you look at the parisians they still wear basket bags straight into winter so I didn't get a lot of wear out of this, got this end of summer, so but when I put these on, it felt very Parisian. So I thought I'd get a little more use out of my basket bag because I didn't get to use it. I saw someone style it up recently and um, I think they got the medium. This is a small. I'll link it below. I'm not sure. I think there's some left because I went on looking at the medium to see if I should have gotten the medium after I saw that person wear theirs. <laughs> 
our style there so um but yeah so i just thought you know i'm feeling very cute very girly with this so why not a fun little basket bag i think the color tone still works for the season i've added this this little scarf also in like a brownie tone and i think um for you know pre-fall early fall when the sun is still out i definitely think this is still a go let me know in the comment section <laughs> how do you feel about basket bags past august because you know i'm just clinging on to fun summer but equally if i wanted to make it a little more dressed up i just grab this gucci jackie in the tan and put on these mules and now it's a little more grown up a little more elevated not that the other one wasn't more ele wasn't elevated it was more casual and this is just a little more dressed up it all depends on what i'm doing and the mood i'm in when <laughs> i'm ready to wear these which which style i'll go for which outfit i'd go for um or which type of outfit i'd go for but yeah so love this top with like this dark denim i got this little colored knit with just a little open neck great for showing off the jewelry um nice oversized so it'd be nice and relaxed to wear and this is by carolyn taylor essentials i love when i find a little vintage piece but yeah so this is the next little sweater that i got next up is this vintage knit sweater top thing <laughs> I'm loving the little v-neck, I'm loving the little collar here, and again, with the corduroy, I think this works perfectly. I've paired this little vintage bag with these um, Kate Spade, like, ballet flat type heels, and I'm loving this. I love that this has a little sparkle on the heel always, um, but yeah, I'm loving that this bag goes perfectly with these shoes, so whenever I wear these shoes, I know this goes, so um, loving this. And um, yeah, this look is just really, really relaxed, very chic, and I love the tones together. So this is how this little vintage sweater looks, and I think I scored. On the hanger, there's not a lot to sweaters, but you know, just throwing them on, pushing the sleeves up, pairing them nicely, and it's just feeling good every day you step out the house, you know? And that's what I love. But yeah, this is... My little vintage sweater. Love this. Again, Roche, do not mess it up. Please. <laughs> it's always it's always worth a trip to the men's section. Not only did I find that button down, but I also found this um Breton stripe sweater. Absolutely love this. And this is by Norm Thompson. That's what the label looks like. So yeah, just a fun little Breton stripe shirt sweater thing. I love that it's more of a muted red as well. So this is gorgeous. As a reminder to check the men's section if the female section isn't giving. <laughs> this sweater is from the men's. Oh, I just loved these stripes when I saw them. I've pushed the sleeves up just to give it that nice balance here with my legs. Paired it with this coach bucket bag i forgot what the name of this is um but just this fun monogram again i love the brown tones going with the um pants here i paired it with these um brown mules and i forgot where these are from these are from amante <laughs> but i just really loved how sleek pointy toe and i could just slide my foot in so this is how I style this, you know, I'm already getting so much wear out of these pants as I knew I would. Um, but yeah, love, love, love this. The feel of this is really nice as well. And um, it is a longer sleeve because it's from the men's section. It's a little oversized, but I never wear my sleeves down hardly. Um, so this is perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> but yeah, love, love love this as well this pairs just as easily with the chocolate brown suede pants they're a little big in the waist but you know i can nip that in quite easily they're a nice um fit in terms of how loose they are i really like that there are no pockets but you know that's what bags are for <laughs> just added a little monogram with this playing 
with the colors and the textures and the um, prints with these little brown mules and yeah just as easily worn with this. I did end up getting this sparkly lavender type movie shirt um, sweater top. It's a little too early for roll neck I think but it is by the limited. It is a size large so it will give me a little space for any kind of food eating expansion. <laughs> But yeah, so I thought this would definitely work with all that little sparkle going on as well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, I just love this. So let's see how this fits. Next up is my little turtleneck um, shimmer sweater top worn with the cords. I've paired it with these um, zebra print black and white. So, you know, still throwing in some mixed print in this outfit. I couldn't wait to see this top with these chocolate brown um, suede pants and I love the color combo of this so much. I couldn't decide on bag. I just throw on this um, Kate Spade shoulder bag. It's just like a gray. So the gray tones are playing a lot more with the top. The top is playing with the pants and the pants is playing with the shoes. So, you know, it doesn't match, but it goes. <laughs> So this is how I've styled it with these, keeping things a little more slim lined and um, yeah, very cute. I love this. And to finish the look, I've thrown back on the oversized brown blazer and this vintage white bag, picking up on the white in the zebra print. And I absolutely love this as well. So many varieties to wear with these pants, um, but also, I am loving that I have so many things that I can throw on in the upcoming weeks. So although it was all basics, for the most part, it was very wearable pieces and I, I love them. <laughs> so guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look is your favorite, what piece is your favorite as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love for you to join the family. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.